Well, hello, it is cool out, so that means it's soup day because soup is always good. What I love about soup is it can be lighter, it can be healthier, sure, but it is full of flavor, it is so delicious, and it's all a meal in a bowl, and that's what I like. This is a white chicken chili, it's my white chicken chili, and it's completely just clean, good ingredients. We have onions and peppers, we have chicken stock, we have white beans, we have chicken breast, and we have corn that I had in the freezer that I froze last summer. So it's all gonna come together with tons of flavor, wholesome goodness, and really fill us up, and that's what's important. So right here I have some onion that I've chopped, and I'm gonna add it to some oil that's been warming in my Dutch oven. You can do this in a stock pot, you can do it in a Dutch oven, whatever works for you. It just needs to be a kettle large enough to hold everything. So we're gonna put that in there and you hear that sizzle, and that's what I want. I want it to start cooking right away. Saute, really pull out some of the flavor. Just add a little bit of color. We're gonna add some salt right away too. Because when you're making anything, no matter what it is, you wanna season as you go. Season the layers so it really helps it be seasoned in the end. If you add a little bit of salt all along, you add a lot less salt in the end than you do if you just need to throw it in at the end. While that's sauteing, a few few minutes on its own, I have some peppers here. So I've started with some jalapenos. I love jalapenos. You can usually find them year round. I've cut them in half, taken the seeds and pith mostly out. I don't mind if there's a few seeds, but I take them mostly out. Now, if you are a little bit adverse to spice, you may wanna take completely all the seeds out, but usually this time of year, these jalapenos don't have too much spice because they're not necessarily right in season, but I do like to add the fresh jalapeno because it adds so much flavor. It adds so much great kind of texture to it, but it gives you that freshness that you just need. So I'm chopping those up rather fine, and then we're gonna also do, I like the mixture of these and, jal and the jalapenos and poblanos. Poblano is one of my favorite peppers because it has kind of a, it has a different flavor than most peppers. It has some heat, but it's like, it's, an, it's a nice heat, it's a sweeter heat, and it just has a delicious fragrance to it. It's great smoked, it's great fresh. I usually grow these in the garden and a lot of them. And you can see how simple, what I like is look how they have some seeds but it comes out really easily. So I always just cut them in half. When I cut them in half, there is some usable pepper up there. So I usually will take that off too from that stem and use that too. We wanna chop up and use everything that is there. I don't like to waste it. The thing about poblanos is they're becoming, to me, next to jalapenos, they're just as easy to find, and that's what I like. And I chop them up kind of the same way. I do planks lengthwise. You can see these planks, and then we'll chop those crossways, and we'll get kind of a nice dice out of it, and that's important. So I'm gonna finish chopping these up, and then we're gonna add them to the onion. I have all the peppers chopped up, and I'm gonna add them right in now with the onion so they can start sauteing, softening, kind of sweat out before we keep moving on. What I love is these peppers really add the base flavor. And as they cook, it's not about the heat, it's about that flavor they're gonna add to the overall soup. Because soups, you know, after they cook together for too long can kind of be one note and not have a lot of flavor added to them. So I'm gonna stir them slightly. Wanna get a little soft texture going with the peppers. So we're gonna let them cook a little bit. We'll add some spices. We'll start putting this together. It's already smelling amazing. It's gonna be good. You can see that the peppers have started sweating a little bit. They're starting to soften slightly, release some of their liquid, which is exactly what we want. They're really cooking down, but they're gonna have a long cooking time here in the soup. At this point, I like to add now some seasoning. So of course, some cumin. This is a chili, which cumin is traditional, and so we really wanna give it that earthy, I don't know, cumin has that great sensibility to be kind of earthy and yet have some oomph to it, which is what I like. We're gonna add the cumin. We're gonna add a little bit of coriander. Coriander and cumin play really well together. They get along on the playground. So we're gonna add that in there. And then we're gonna add some oregano. Oregano again, and if you can find it, a Mexican oregano, I think really adds a whole component of something just extra special. So we're gonna add that in. And a dried spice you don't actually need to use too much of because it's condensed, so it has a lot of its essential oils. I like to stir, the, stir these spices in this hot oil because it really helps them bloom. It brings out a lot more of their flavor and kind of gets them going as opposed to just adding them to a liquid. So a few seconds of that heat and already I'm smelling the spices that we added and they really have just uh, a great aroma going in here. So to that we're gonna add chicken stock. You can use home canned chicken stock. You can use store bought, whatever works for you. We're gonna add it in there. Look at all that beautiful, that color instantly. It's beautiful. I'm gonna turn the flame up just so it comes to a good simmer because I'm gonna add in the chicken breast right to here. 
So the reason we're not adding just cooked chicken breast already is I want the chicken breast, their flavors as they're cooking, their juices, to continue to flavor this right here. So it's kind of like fortifying the chicken stock we added. It's adding even more flavor. So I'm gonna pretty much poach them in this liquid. I'm gonna bring it up to a simmer, just a nice light simmer and let it cook until these chicken breasts are fully cooked through. Then we're gonna pull them out, add some more ingredients. It's gonna be delicious. The chicken has cooked and you can check the temperature on it to make sure that is gonna let you know for sure that it has cooked. So you can see what we have here is a really flavorful kind of base and stock almost to our soup. I'm gonna pull the chicken off and I just want it to cool slightly and then we're just gonna pull it apart with a fork because it's extremely tender. It doesn't look that great right now, but once you then pull it apart, poached chicken on its own, it doesn't really look like much does, it looks like poached chicken. But once you pull it apart, you have that great meat, that great protein to add and that's what I love. So to this really flavorful base, which is the best part of this. I'm gonna add a whole bunch of things here. We have some corn, and like I said, I have mine that's home canned, but you can just do frozen corn. You could even do canned corn, and what I love is it adds a great texture, it adds a great color, it just adds a lot of goodness. And then some white beans. I've drained off most of the juice, but I don't worry if there's a little bit on there. You know, once they, this is the juice that in the water that they cooked in, so it has tons of flavor, and it has good body to it too, some good texture. So I like to add in the white beans, which were really the base to this, they add more protein. They have some great nutritional benefits. Look when you stir that together, how good it's looking already. Now to give it a little bit more of a texture, I take half of a can of those white beans I just put in and I mash them. It looks gross, but what we're doing here is this adds a creaminess. It adds kind of something that's gonna help thicken it up. And that's what it's all about. I do this to a lot of my soups. I do this to my chili. I do this to tomato soup. I do this to a lot of soups and it makes a huge difference. It's the same thing as when you would, kind of an old French technique to pull out some of the cooking vegetables, whatever they are, blend them together to thicken it. It does, it just adds body and it's a great way to do it without adding a cream or something. So we're gonna put that right in there. And you may think right now like that seems gross, but once it cooks together, you have no idea that some beans are mashed up in there. So we're gonna stir this in and what you already are having are the base to just like a delicious soup, and that's what I love. We're gonna put this back on the stove, let everything cook. We want the, even though the corn, you know, frozen corn is cooked, canned corn is cooked, beans are cooked, but we want them to cook with this liquid and really kind of soak in those flavors and those spices. So we're gonna let this cook, bring it back up to a nice simmer. We're gonna pull the chicken apart, then we'll add that at the end, and everything will be ready to go. So I added the chicken back in after I shredded it. So everything got hot and cooked together. It was really warmed through. And you can see I just made the chicken into kind of bigger bite-sized pieces. I like it to be hearty. I like it to be rich because that's what we're having here is a really wholesome, great meal. And then you can just serve it up with whatever you love. You could do sour cream with it. You could do really anything that kind of speaks to you. That's the whole point. And look at, look at all that goodness in that soup. You have that really flavorful broth. You have the chicken, the beans, the corn. I like to put some fresh cilantro on top. One, it looks pretty, I mean, let's be honest. Two, it adds tons of great flavor. I like a little bit of fresh scallion maybe on top. I think it, it has that lighter onion flavor. I just think it's essential. I, of course, need a little bit of maybe some pickled peppers or canned kind of jalapeno peppers, just something to kind of give it that fresh acidity at the end. You could do tortilla chips, you could do cheese, Avocado, it, it all will work. The best part is though, you don't need anything because it's that good. Mm. Okay, first off the bat, so much flavor. You get a really good chicken flavor, but the corn adds the sweetness, the beans are soft and just creamy. That's what I love. And then that chicken is hearty, and if you get some of those fresh components on top, it is a soup that you want. It's warming me down. It is getting comfort, but it's also extremely healthy. It is extremely a great one to have as often as you want. It's not heavy. It will leave you feeling good, satisfied, important, and full. That's what it's all about. So what do I hope you do with this? I hope you make a big pot of soup, whether you have a family, whether it's for yourself, and enjoy it. That's the whole point. Food is to enjoy and to nourish and feel good. So share this around, share the video around, because yeah, that helps me, but it helps everyone see this is doable. If I can do it, 
Everyone can do this and we can all enjoy soup. Wouldn't that world be a better place then? Share it around, check my website, wiseguide.com for this recipe and all my other recipes. They're all on there. Until I see you again, enjoy some good food.